The top story at 5.30, a pep rally at a Dearborn High School canceled just as students were planning to protest a reported hazing incident at the school. One student has already been suspended. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel is at Fortson High School now with the latest. Well, right around 9.30 this morning is when that pep rally was scheduled inside Fortson High School here, but teachers told students this morning it was canceled. And some students, they believe it's because of this hazing controversy surrounding the football program here at Fortson. Security guards closed gates and stood by Friday morning in the parking lot where a protest was supposed to happen to show support for the victim of an alleged hazing inside a high school locker room reportedly involving two freshman football players Monday. On Wednesday, Superintendent Dr. Glenn Malenko sent this note to parents saying in part, the type of behavior is unacceptable. Individuals have been identified and disciplinary measures have been taken. And on behalf of all students and staff, I extend our most sincere apologies to the victim of this rogue hazing incident. Former football player Mohamed Hachim says he talked with some on the team who say more players were involved than just the one student who is suspended. This kid got held down by two, three other football team members. Hodgson was outside the school when after the half day and the pep rally canceled, students flooded out wanting to talk, but even on public property, school officials, including what looked to be football staff, were monitoring and ushering them away. Students told us it was implied that if students protested, they would face disciplinary action. This is the type of story that doesn't, that affects the city and affects the people and just, you know, it just affects all of us and the school and the reputation and the football team. Now we are also out here watching as staff kept football players away, but some were able to tell us that they fear that they may be suspended for the, from the team for talking. Now that game that was scheduled for tonight, it's still on as scheduled at this moment. Reporting for 7 Action News in Dearborn, I'm Brian Abel.